Hello beautiful people, welcome to another amazing episode of Christianity over Islam. This time around we are looking at a very interesting topic as a Muslim faithful debates some shaman on the Quran. The corrupt that the Bible is corrupted, Allah lied, so pre-existed. Let's dive right in into this amazing debate to find out more. Can I help you? How are you going? Where do you want me to go? Uh, I just wanted to ask a uh, question. What's what's the best argument? Because I have a Muslim friend that I'm trying to to b debate with. What's the best argument I can what's use up? against against the, that the religion is false? Their religion? Woo, their yeah. religion. There's five million ways you can go about it. I mean, the most obvious one that you need to confront them with is if the Quran confirms the Bible, which it does. But you're gonna have to learn this argument. So this is why we have hundreds of articles, hundreds of sessions, Quranic view of the Bible, Quranic view of the Bible. That's why Daniel Pigachu, Muslim meta retard, Muslim meta retard, and Uthman ibn Ketchup boy refused to debate me on a moderated platform on this topic because I told modern day debate, I told the man, can you tell them to debate me, Muhammad's view of the Bible, and does Islam teach Tawheed? All of them ran like the dogs they are. Because why? They know I'm going to destroy them in this argument. So why am I mentioning it? This is the argument you need to learn. You need to learn from the Quran and the Hadith, the arguments where Muhammad said, your Bible, the one you're reading right now, that Bible is the perfectly preserved words of God. It's never been changed. So you got to go watch, learn the arguments, because yep. we have sessions on these. We call Islamic Dilemma 101. Once you learn that, you say, wait, hold on. The Quran says it confirms the scriptures of the Jews and Christians, and they're perfectly preserved. We have them. If it confirms, that means it agrees with the Bible. But it contradicts the Bible, which means Muhammad is a liar. That's the best way to destroy Muhammad. Uh-huh. I've brought that argument up with him, and his response, it's always the same response. It says that he always says um, uh, the Bible was being corrupted over the years. And so how do you respond to that? Let's see how good of a job you did. Because if you did a terrible job, I'm going to punish you for his sin and block you. So what did you say? Um, I just said I just said it, it hasn't. It's the, I said there's different interpretations, but it's the same. Message. No, you suck, right? You suck as an evangelist. You're terrible. You're pathetic. Oh, you know that. No, I mean, you. I want you to agree with me. You suck. You're pathetic. Just say I suck. I'm pathetic. No, I, I just need more knowledge. No, I think you, I'm telling you, you suck. Take my word for it. You, you trust my judgment, right? That's why you're uh, here. You suck. You're terrible. If he says the Bible's corrupt, which part of the argument you don't get? That means the Quran is a lie. Because if the Bible's corrupt, that means the Quran is a lie. Because the Quran says the Bible is incorruptible. What are you not getting? Yeah, okay. No, See yeah, why I, I say you suck? No, but now you understand why I say you suck, right? <laughs> Yeah, See, no, I, I mean, that's okay. it's okay. We Good you suck here, and I rebuke you, and then you become better later, right? Correct. Okay, so you suck. You're a lousy apologist, but praise God, you're going to become better after I rebuke you, right? I will become better. Okay, because if he tells you the Bible's corrupt, that means he just buried Muhammad. So thank you for proving Muhammad is a liar or I an idiot. What do you mean? I just showed you your Quran says my Bible cannot be corrupted. If it's been corrupted, that means you just said the Quran is a lie. Uh huh. Did you finally no get worries. it? Yeah, yeah. I'll use that. I'll use. Did that I change my Alba shirt and put on a Bruce Lee shirt and do Jeet Kune Do on you like this guy said, Bruce Lee? <laughs> How are you not getting the argument? Oh yeah, I bring it up. He says it's corrupted. Oh, so you mean the Quran is wrong? What do you mean? If the Bible is changed, that means the Quran is wrong. And if it's wrong, that means it's trash. So why do you believe in the Quran? What do you mean? The Quran says the Bible can never be corrupted. All those words can never be changed. And the Bible is his words and he's preserved them. But you're saying the Quran is a lie because the Bible has been changed. Man, how easy was that, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. And now you see you're laughing because now you're saying to the ad, this guy was right, I do suck. Yeah. Right? <laughs> All right, guys. I think before we continue with this with this amazing video, um, the guy said that he met somebody that told him that the Bible has been corrupted over the years. 
and then Sam Shamon asked, told him that Quran confirmed the Bible that the Bible cannot be corrupted. That is, Bible is the word of God that it cannot be corrupted. And if the if they say the Muslims say the Bible has been corrupted, it means that Muhammad is a liar because Muhammad says in the Bible, I mean in the Quran, that the Bible cannot be corrupted. I don't know if you understand the, this this argument. The Bible cannot be corrupted, says the Quran. Now the Muslims are saying that the Bible has been corrupted. The word of God has been corrupted over the years. The word of God in the Quran, as the Quran says, it cannot be corrupted. And the you Muslims are saying that the word of God has been corrupted over the years. It means that these two arguments contradict itself, which means that Muhammad is a liar. I don't know if you understand. Let's get more details from this video. I like your argument. At least you can laugh at yourself. See, I laugh at myself, and I laugh at my cousin. Say, cheese. The guy, you think you suck. This dude, he is probably the worst example, not of a Christian, of a human being. Okay, he sucks lemons like it's going out of style. My cousin, say, cheese. See. So now you know how to use the argument or no? Yeah, yeah, I know. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. That's how you turn it against them. Then you show how the Bible teaches things that shows the Quran is a lie because the Quran contradicts the Bible. Any other question, my friend? Or are you okay? No, no I'm good for now. I'm, I'm going to use okay. that one. So go to my YouTube, put in Quran Confirms the Bible, or blog, Quran Confirms the Bible. Learn how to present the argument, because when you told them the Quran says the Bible is corrupt, uh, the Bible is the God's Word, oh, it's corrupted. You went, no. Oh, you got me. Damn. I need to find Sam now. Sam bail me out. Sam, can you help me? That's not how you present the argument, right? Yeah. You learned, right? Yeah, yeah. Now I after today, today, here's a good thing. After today, you're going to suck less. 100%. All right, my man. Let me know when you come back so I can block you. All right, brother? Have a good one. Thank you for your time. Take care. Bye-bye. That's why I kicked him up. How can I help you, Angel? Hi there, Sam Shimon. Um, I like that you pronounce my full name, Sam Shimon. <laughs> I, brother, I, uh, I learned a lot from you. Huh? I'm sorry, what was that? Hi there, Angel Pata. <laughs> Hi there. So, I was the guy, I don't know if you remember me, it was back on LB's TikTok, I asked if... Oh man, you want me to block you? If you were on LB's TikTok, did you get blocked? No sir, no I didn't. Okay. <laughs> so, so um, I asked you if souls pre-existed, right? if, if God created all That's souls right, yeah, like one day. Can we block you for that one? No, 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 no. No, you didn't block me. Please, I should have. Damn it. Why didn't I block you then? Okay, no, so it was a question because I was having a debate with somebody. Okay, um, so was it a mormon that I, <laughs> i'm sorry what was that was it a mormon no sir it was not a mormon um who was it who who told you souls pre-exist oh yeah it was the muslim right he claimed to be christian yeah, we already he, he claimed what he claimed to be a christian and that we were going to be like christ exactly like christ but i told him yeah. no we're nothing compared to christ but, Christianity but that's not is my the question. truth. Hold on, brother. Christianity is truth, and your mother's a Shia whore. Come on up. Christianity is the truth, and your mother's a Shia whore. So I can get the Shia to do more muta with your whore mother. So come on up. Make my day. Christianity is the truth, and your mother's a Shia whore. Come on up. Anyway, so he had no religion. He claimed to be a Christian, and he said that he believed God revealed to him that he's going to be just like Jesus. And his okay, power so and everything. God like revealed that. to him he's going to be like Jesus, and you're having a serious conversation with this guy. It wasn't exactly serious, but um, I did bring up bring out some stuff against that. Why, but why do you waste your time? That wasn't with a guy my who question, says, huh? Angel, why do you waste yeah. your time with a guy who says God revealed to me I'm going to be like Jesus, so I pre-exist like Jesus? This is what you should have called was Bellevue, the nut farm. You know the the psych ward to put him in a white jacket and lock him between four four walls so he can look like uh, white walls all day all night but anyway what's your question you have a question i agree it was a waste of time so my question is uh you know how in the bible it says glory glory i mean i'm sorry holy 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 is our god isaiah 6 3 chapter 6 verse 3 and revelation 4 verse 8 what about it right so me as a trinitarian whenever i came across that verse I always thought it was an emphasis on his holiness and it is somebody I, I wasn't aware that that was a scripture that could support 
the Trinitarian view. So I was yeah. wondering, is, is there we any proof for that? We can't prove from that, the Trinity. But when you show God is triune, now it makes sense why he's thrice holy. So what he's referring to is Isaiah 6, verse 3, and Revelation 4, 8. Now that I can show you so you don't flash me any pornographic images. Revelation 4, 8 and Isaiah 6, 3. The four living creatures and the cherubim say, Holy, 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 Yahuwah, Sava'ot, Sava'ot, trying to sound intelligent. And in Isaiah 6, 3, it says, Holy, holy, holy is Yahuwah, Sava'ot of hosts. Revelation 4, 8, holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. Now, just that verse, holy, 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 three times doesn't prove the Trinity. That would be very weak and embarrassing if you use that to prove the trinity right okay anyway, using isaiah 6 3 and revelation 4 8 it's weak holy 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 okay so what that doesn't prove the trinity where you see that this is hinting at the trinity is when you show from scripture there are three persons who are truly god and only three then it makes sense why they say holy three times holy is the father holy is the son holy is the holy spirit but you have to first prove the Trinity from other passages and then use this to illustrate. Now you see why they say holy three times. Oh, okay. I see. Well, okay. yeah, that makes way more sense. Yeah, you don't use that to prove the Trinity. You first prove the Trinity, then show this as corroborating evidence. Now that we see God is triune, now it makes sense why they say holy, holy, holy three times. Not four times, not five times. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, that was pretty much my question. Thank you for Good answering man. it. Good man, Angel. Anyone who tells you God has told them he pre-exists, call Bellevue. Call the the psych ward, the nut, the nutty <laughs> Looney Tune Hospital. Right? No, honestly, say, hold on, buddy. Don't go anywhere. Just stay right here. Say, no problem. Call them. No, you say, call them. Say, we got this psych, psycho. He's a nut. He thinks God speaks to him. Can you bring a jacket? And then they can put him in a straight jacket lock him in a room with four white walls and he can speak to god all day all night and pretend he pre-exists hi yeah i'm like gee Ethan. all right <laughs> any all other right. questions are you okay no that's it thank you sam all right buddy take care god bless. all right guys so welcome back and that was an amazing one and um the first caller the first guy brought an argument concerning the quran uh, stance on the bible which most muslims believe that the bible will, has been corrupted over the years and some shaman tries to let the guy know that if the bible is corrupted then muhammad is a liar because the quran confirms that the bible is the word of god and it cannot be corrupted and now muslims are coming up with this argument all the time that the Bible has been corrupted all the years. Now, you as a Muslim watching this, I believe Sam has cleared your doubts. He, had, he was able to prove to you now that whenever you bring this argument up that the Bible has been corrupted over the years, it means that your prophet Muhammad is a liar because Muhammad says he wrote it down in the Quran and says that. Uh, bible is the word of god and it cannot be corrupted i hope you understand now then the second guy came also with um with another questions on the the book of isaiah where the angels were saying holy 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 the lord god almighty and then he asked a very important question that does the three holy 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 in that passage does it support the trinity and some giving a very profound answer by saying that that does not support it's a very weak point to support the trinity i don't know if you understand that it is too weak to support that's why that is why i like sam he's a very straightforward person and he doesn't beat around the bush or try to comfort you with lies you know he told the guy that it is too weak to support the trinity that you have to support the trinity with other passages 
of the Bible. Guys, I believe you have learned the truth today and I believe you have learned something. Let us know what you have learned newly in the comment sessions and please don't forget to share our videos and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channels for more videos. Thank you.